My name is Scott Granger. I'm a licensed fire protection engineer. I'm licensed in 13 states. I've been in private practice for 25 years. I've been a practicing engineer for 39 years. 50% of my practice is in forensic engineering. About 20% of my practice is in fire and building code analysis work. And 10% of my practice is in structural fire protection, structural fire proofing work. Steel structural frame buildings, high rise buildings, simply do not collapse due to fire. There has never been until 9-11 an experience where a high rise building that was steel frame completely collapsed. There have been fires burned longer in similar structures without any collapse. There is serious question as to why these buildings collapsed and that's a little bit about what I'm going to talk about. WTC 7, the shortest of the three buildings that collapsed on that day, about 47 stories, was still a very large building. It filled completely filled a city block 47 stories tall. It's not like a tall, slender, high-rise building that you might normally picture. There were scattered fires throughout the building. No aircraft hit that building. There was the scattered fires were due to damage uh, resulting from flying debris from WTCs one and two. These small fires, scattered as they were, none of which would have been, in my experience as a fire protection engineer, hot enough to sufficiently soften the steel or damage the steel to result in a total collapse of the building. According to NIST, the failure occurred at column 79 on level 12. This means basically as they're talking about a single col columnar collapse or failure that resulted in a total collapse of the building. That just does not make any sense. It would not have occurred that way, but let's say that that collapse, that single collapse may have caused a beginning of a collapse. What would have happened? The building would not have collapsed completely as it did. It would not have been a uniform collapse. The building might have partially fallen over, uh, pieces would have fallen out, but the building would not have collapsed as it did. Uh, that This doesn't make any logical sense. Regardless of the engineering, the logic tells you that if you have a single failure at some random point in the building, that the entire building is not going to collapse. Buildings don't break that way. Similar things are true for w, WTCs 1 and 2, but in the important thing here is for WTC 7, the collapse uh, would have been a chaotic, random event. The building would have partially collapsed, possibly, but it didn't. There was a total collapse, and there's very few things that could explain that, none of which are addressed by the NIST report. I have signed the petition for architects and engineers for 9-11 Truth. I felt it was a very important thing to do. I strongly support a an independent investigation into what actually occurred. There are many problems and in fact as a forensic engineer I can tell you that unfortunately the government has destroyed much of the evidence. But there's still some evidence available in photographs of the evidence so hopefully there's enough left that we could do an appropriate investigation that an investigation could be done that would be independent of the government, independent of all of the influences that obviously were in effect uh, during the NIST investigation. Thank you.